Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over everything you need in order to convert your SAX24 to brushless. Out of the box, the SAX24 is some of the most fun that you can have with a ready to run RC car. But if you're like me and wanna take it to the next level, the brushless conversion system is the way to go. One of the issues I had when I first got into this and I wanted to do the conversion was figuring out everything that I needed in order to do this conversion. Trying to figure out everything you need for the conversion can be a little bit daunting, but there's three simple components that you'll need in order to do this conversion. The first thing you'll be needing is an actual brushless motor. I chose to get mine from Fury Tech. It is one of the best and top leading brands for SCX24 brushless conversions. You can also get some from Little Guy Racing Parts and also like Mofo RC. The cool thing about these is that they do come with a motor mount plate so that way you can mount it right to your stock transmission. They also offer the Stellar transmission which you can get as an upgraded version. The next item that you'll be needing is a brushless ESC. You will not unfortunately be able to run on your stock SCX24 ESC and receiver combo so you'll also be needing a external receiver as well. I chose Spectrum as I have a DX5C transmitter and it pairs very well, but you can also get the FuryTech Avatar system that they offer as well. All three components you see right here is everything that I included into my competition build. As you can see, I have my SR215 receiver in there. I also have the uh, motor mount transmission plate, the Micro Komodo brushless motor, which is an outrunner motor and not an inrunner. And then you can also see that I have my Lizard Pro massaged right there in the center. While Fury Tech does offer a wide variety of different motors and ESCs that you can get for your rig, these two right here are the most popular. You can go ahead and do a different receiver if you'd like. There is some smaller ones, I believe, by FlySky. And as I mentioned before, the Fury Tech Avatar system is very small as well. Let's say you're not in the hole already $150 and don't have an SCX24 yet. You do have an option to get a full brushless RTR ready to run version by Fury Tech itself. This way right here, you don't have to fiddle fart around with any of the fit, form, and function of these components inside your rig. You can buy it ready to go for $200. If you guys have any questions on how to build your rig or what other components you might need, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I appreciate you guys watching this video.